Hey, Otterbein residents. Uh, it's me, Dallas, your executive director here. I just have two specific announcements I want to cover with you guys. Uh, first of which pertains to the new builds. I know uh, previously, the last time I came out with one of these, stuff was supposed to show up about two weeks ago. Um, it did not, but uh, we have a more firm date in mind. So um, this Monday, which I believe is the 4th, uh, that is when equipment and the contractors should, should start rolling in. So I would anticipate you guys seeing some equipment and maybe seeing some, you know, generally more traffic here than normal. Um, you know, I think that it's probably a reasonable expectation to think that they're going to be moving dirt next week. But right now I don't have any dates like when they're really going to start cutting trees down or doing concrete or anything like that. But when I have the information, I'll be sure to share it with you. But one thing I can definitively tell you is that they are going to be starting on Bob White for the initial startup of the project. So, um, you know, stay in touch. I'll do my best to keep you guys apprised of information as it comes out. But that's what I can share right now. We've also laid out guidelines for them in terms of working hours, what's reasonable and acceptable to not interfere with your daily life here too much. So right now we're aiming right around the guidelines from about 7.30 to 5 o'clock. And we've also asked that if there is any sort of interference that's going to affect your uh, you know, daily life here, we ask that they give us plenty of notice up to a week, if not more. That way we can plan accordingly. But our goal is while we do this and expand our campus, it's to minimize the impact, the negative impact it has on your daily life, because this is supposed to be a positive thing for us. So we want to make sure that your experience doesn't affect that, you know, in a negative way. So the next thing I want to talk about is the internet shortage. And first of all, I just want to apologize to each and every one of you. I know that um, it's a big deal and it is negatively impacting your guys's, you know, daily routine and it's negatively impacting your quality of life. And for that, I'm truly sorry. Um, the update I have right now is that it appears as if Watch has finally identified the problem. Um, it is kind of surrounding these boxes in your guys' homes called ONTs. And that, uh, you know, it gets kind of technical, but it sounds like all of those need replaced. Um, so right now we're working with them to try to figure out how many we need and when can we get them here and work on the install ASAP. Um, unfortunately, as of right now, I don't have a date, but this is something that we are working on daily because of, like it's just a huge impact. So I've also asked uh, Chris to help out too, and Mike has been nothing but wonderful and helping out thus far. And I've also asked Lynette, and I think Jill and Angie are even getting involved too because we want to minimize the downtime on this. A week is a long time, and I know how much of a burden it is for you all, and I just want to get it done sooner rather than later. So the next thing I want to say is um, if any of you, you know, if you have laptops or your phones and if you need internet, I'm inviting you to come up to Campus Center. You can jump on our Wi-Fi and take care of any business that you need to do. Again, I know that it's not that convenient, but right now it's the most practical solution that we have. But, um, you know, I, this is something that we are actively working on daily and we are pressing them pretty aggressively. So I hope to have more updates as, you know, things continue to develop. But at least I want to tell you what I know right now. But in the event that you have something to say or you need to share it, please feel free to leave me a message or better yet, feel free to watch or contact Watch TV directly and see if you guys can make any progress at all because this is gonna be a team effort and I appreciate the messages and the concerns I've had from each and one of you thus far. And again, I apologize and we're gonna see if we can't get through it, okay? Thank you and have a nice night.